When electrosurgery is used in laparoscopy, specific and unique aspects must be taken into consideration. In this course, generally relevant considerations during laparoscopic electrosurgery will be discussed. The information in this course builds on the courses The Basics of Electrosurgery and Clinical Effects of Electrosurgery. During laparoscopic electrosurgery, the operator's ability to fully visualize the procedure is limited by the constraints of the laparoscopic camera. The camera severely restricts the operator's ability to see depth and the field of view. This means that the area that can be seen simultaneously during the procedure is reduced to a conical area in front of the camera. Both increase the chance of accidental contact between the electrode tip and the unintended tissue. If the unintended tissue is in contact with or near to an activated electrode tip, it has a large chance of being negatively affected by current going through this pathway. This can result in the burning or perforation of structures, which may result in bleeding, spillage of bodily fluids, or the ignition of bowel gases. To reduce the chance of accidental tip-to-tissue contact, the generator should only be activated when there are no unintended tissues in the proximity of the tip. In addition, the tip should not be in contact with tissues shortly after activation, as the residual heat of the electrode can cause the tissues to burn and stick to the tip. To prevent excessive residual heat, Prolonged activation of the electrode is to be avoided. Instead, the use of brief, intermittent activation is recommended. Aside from the electrode tip accidentally touching unintended tissues, there is also a risk of the electrode tip touching or being near to other conductive instruments. Upon activation, this can cause alternative conductive pathways to form via unintended tissues, which have a large chance of being negatively affected by the passing current. This is known as direct coupling and can result in the burning or perforation of structures. In addition, the functioning of other electrical instruments can potentially be disturbed. Therefore, the generator should not be activated when the active electrode is touching or near to other conductive instruments. In the absence of direct contact, there is still a possibility of direct coupling when a high voltage signal is used, causing sparking to other instruments. Due to this and other potential complications, it is recommended to use a voltage that is as low as possible for the intended tissue effect. Therefore, Cut waves are more suitable for laparoscopic purposes than coagulation waveforms. Also, the electrode should not be activated before coming into contact with the tissue, as this may further increase the voltage. Another complication whose chance of occurring can be reduced by using a low voltage is insulation failure. It may happen that the electric insulation surrounding the conductive core of a handheld electrode is damaged. A microscopic scratch or hole in the insulation can be enough to allow an alternative pathway to form. During activation, the high current density at this location can burn both tissues and the remaining insulation. Often, this location is outside of the operator's field of view, and thus it can take a long time before burns are noticed. <laughs>